Need to temporarily disable your Android's touchscreen? This is useful for preventing accidental touches when watching videos, childproofing, or for accessibility. Stock Android lacks a direct one-click solution, but several methods exist. We'll cover built-in features like screen pinning, found under Settings, Security, Screen Pinning. This locks your device to a single app, disabling touch input elsewhere. For advanced users, developer options offer programmatic control via ADB commands. Finally, we'll introduce third-party apps that use Android's Accessibility API to overlay and block touch events until a pin or gesture is entered. These methods modify the input stream, ignoring taps and swipes while keeping the screen active. Screen pinning is great for single app use. Access it through setting security to lock the device to one app. Touch lock apps on the Play Store offer flexible control with floating widgets, but be cautious of permissions and app reputation. Looking ahead, Android 16 may introduce a standardized touch lock API. Parental control apps like Questodio now include touch locking. The Samsung Galaxy S25 series features a built-in block interactions mode. Experts recommend starting with built-in options like screen pinning for security and simplicity. Remember to always have a clear unlock method to avoid being locked out. Future trends include AI-driven tuck ignition and integration with cross-device ecosystems.